today. This is Xperious Z here, and I'm doing a video, a tutorial on a face-off class setup, and the new thing, the new, um, what's it called? Game mode. Game mode. New game mode that's just come out. So 1v1, 1v1, 2v2, 3v3. And this is my class I've got for you guys today. In a few in a few seconds, I'll get you a gameplay to watch. But right now, this is my class. I've got the PP90M1, Red Tiger, Rapid Fire, Opus Proficiency, and my RPG because that's awesome. Um, for my Lethal, got C4, Tactical, Portable Radar, Extreme Conditioning, Blast Shield, not pro, because I haven't been using it for a while. Dead Silence, pro, which is just awesome. Strike Package, UAV, IMS, and Attack Helicopter. That's pretty cool. I like that setup. And lastly, I've got Final Stand. So, that's about it really for the little class setup. So um yeah, see you guys in a few seconds. So hi guys, um doing the thingy, whatever it's called. And um first off on the list is my PP90 M1 and I've always written down on paper by the way so my first reason for using it is because my class setup is a Russian class and it's a good gun it has decent recoil um, yeah and just looks cool the way it's got circular mags and um, I put rapid fire on it because when you put on the rapid fire, the rate of fire is mad. So it's the attachment to use on the PP90. Um, and I also have focus proficiency on, and that is because I have um, because it keeps your aim on on the person. It's a nice kill there. Um, keeps your aim on the target while you're actually trying to shoot them. Um, yeah, I've got the RPG-7 as my secondary, as you probably just saw there. Um, and it's really useful to have because, like, you can, you can, um, like, there's a lot of campy filters on these maps occasionally. I mean, yeah, there is. And so it's good to just fire it into a building and to kill the campus, basically. Um, and next on my list is I've got C4 as my lethal equipment thing, and that's basically the same as the RPG-7, just to kill the campers, and it's really fun to use in general, and it can get you out of a lot of sticky situations. So, um, the one we have is our tactical thing in the wall. Look at these sniping with this RSS. So it's really helpful the portable radar. Portable radar on C4 just goes so well for the valid. Advise it definitely all the time on a lot of classes. And my perks here are <coughs> excuse me. Um extreme conditioning. Basically look at that turn on, that's cool. That's what we like to see. Um um, I don't know what messed up there, but whatever. Extreme conditioning, basically, because it's a Russian class, and I was trying to get bro. <laughs> and um, I have blast shield. I'm also trying to get pro on blast shield. I'm trying to get all the pro perks. It's just Sithrak and Teams now, I think. Sithrak and blast shield, I think. Maybe not. But yes, yeah, so the blast shield for those new tubers out there. 
They're not raid launchers, the ones that use RPGs, like me basically. But yeah, I'm countering it and using it at the same time. But you could switch this out for assassin. I would advise that. Um <coughs> excuse me. Again. Dead silence, basically because people with headsets can't detect you from it. So like that guy just ran out because he didn't know I was there. Silent. Um and sorry. And if you want to make a quick escape from the top of the building, you can quite easily do that. Um by, just by jumping out the window and not taking any fall damage. That's basically how that works. And then <coughs> Sorry, my throat really hurts right now. But um my you my kill streaks from over on to here is my UAV. Um and that's just because in face off if you know where they are, you know where they are. As in most game modes. But face off especially. Just because the it's pretty small maps and they'll if they find you and you don't know where they are, you're gonna die. Or not at least get a decent streak. So um no. I have my IMS as my five point streak. And that's basically because the IMS is beast. Now that I've started using it, I've truly discovered it. So you've got to use it to know it. But if you place it down in an extremely high traffic area, which there are a lot of in face off face off, just simply because small maps. And so I would definitely advise putting it on top of a ship like I did earlier, or in that other building, you know the other main building thing. The one I'm facing. Yeah. yeah. Just put it in this little section about here and it'll get you kills for days. And then at my the one I just got, the attack helicopter. That's amazing just because it's it's a good air support. You know, for the amount of kills it costs to get, you don't you get a lot of support and stuff and it can get you two to three kills every time you pull it in excuse me yet again I'm told it. you see my IMS just got in, and I'm using the RPG tactic but I'm no good with sorry I'm no good with stuff like that so yeah um so by the way just watch out for this kill cam because it's pretty amazing. Um, my last thing is, the last thing I want to say is, my death streak is simply absolutely amazing. Final stand. And there's the kill cam. Bam. End of the game. So that's my, because final stand because it's not newbie at all. So yeah, that looks like the little Go bam, bam, yeah. OG and a star. So uh, see you later, guys. Peace out.